Hi, what's up? My name is Adam, and you are on Cyber Raccoon Channel. Today I'm going to tell you about the most expensive video games ever. Watch the video to the end, subscribe our channel and you will always be aware of what to play today. Heavy Rain, $52 million. The French from Quantic Dream seem to have made a real movie with a decent budget, which cannot be said about playing Heavy Rain. In fact, this exclusive interactive adventure was not that expensive, but the marketing costs were almost three development budgets. As it turned out, not in vain, since the publisher Sony reported more than $100 million in profit a couple of years after the release, and this does not take into account the re-releases on PS4 and PC. We recommend everyone to pay attention to Heavy Rain, as the game is one of the best PS3 exclusives. This is an interactive detective thriller in which you will try to track down the serial killer who kidnapped his son on behalf of the would-be dad. The narrative is non-linear, the player influences the development of events and the ending with his decisions. Shenmue, $59 million. These days, we would not be surprised to hear the tens of millions of dollars were spent on developing any of the games, but in 1999 Shenmue made headlines when it became known that Yu Suzuki had spent more than $50 million on its development. Unfortunately, the risk didn't pay off in the end, at least in terms of retail efficiency. But Shenmue's legacy speaks for itself, and Shenmue 3 would not have raised more than $7 million in crowdfunding if people didn't have a lot of respect for the series. Gran Turismo 5, $60 million. The original Gran Turismo set a new standard for simulator racing games and remained the leader of the genre for many years. While Gran Turismo 5th of may not be a fan favorite, it marked the beginning of a gradual decline in the franchise's popularity, but it remains the most expensive game in the series' history. Considering Gran Turismo 5 ended up being the best-selling PlayStation 3 game of all time, it's safe to say that Sony has no regrets about spending money on it. Years of War, Judgment, $60 million. In 2013, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 compared their two GAO branded games, God of War and Gears of War, respectively, to each other in high-profile prequels. As far as Microsoft's console was concerned, it was Gears of War, Judgment, the first game in the franchise not fully developed by Epic. If there was one thing Judgment was notable for, it was enormous value. Since the newest game in the series, Years of War 4, was released exclusively on Xbox One, Judgment hit 360, and from then on, the company said goodbye to the console forever. However, the game itself never won that recognition, and many gamers accused it of being unnecessary and too similar to its predecessor, Years of War 3. Rift, $65 million. The problem with trying to break into the MMORPG genre is that people who have already invested hundreds of dollars and thousands of hours in their old reserves, be it World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy XI or whatever, are hard to convince to try something new. One of the most popular MMOs in recent years is Rift from the developers of Tryon Worlds. In fact, the publisher reported that it took the title only about a year to recoup its initial development costs, and the game's servers remain active to this day, which could mean financial success since the game was released in 2011. Ghost Recon, Future Soldier, $65 million video games based on Tom Clancy's books came out before, namely in the 80s, but only in 1996 with Tom Clancy's SSN titles began to bear the author's name in their titles. The Tom Clancy brand now consists of not only separate parts, but also several completely different series, and one of the most prolific is Ghost Recon. In 2012, Ubisoft developed Future Soldier and invested a lot of money in it to finally make Ghost Recon a huge Call of Duty level AAA franchise. It was a pretty good game, but it certainly wasn't marketed as the legendary COD. Crisis 3, $66 million. Every few years there is a game that seems to be years ahead of everyone else in terms of graphics. One such was Crisis, 
created by the team that developed the original Far Cry before Ubisoft Montreal took over further development of the series, starting with Far Cry 2. In 2007, if you had a computer that could run Crisis at maximum settings you can be sure you own a high-end PC. Unfortunately, Far Cry has overtaken Crisis in popularity over the years, even though EA spent a lot of money on Crisis 3. Although remastered of the first part was released in September 2020, there is still hope for a sequel. Enter the Matrix, $67 million. While now defunct developer Shiny Entertainment has become a strong player in the market thanks to Earthworm Jim and the groundbreaking MDK, which was often considered one of the first games to feature a scalable scope, their later designs weren't up to par. Shiny has become infamous for releasing disappointing games after years of delays. So it was probably not the best move to entrust the infamous developer with completing the AAA Matrix-inspired game in a very short time. However, Enter the Matrix performed well financially, but was criticized by both gamers and experts for feeling unfinished and having a lot of bugs. Watch Dogs, $68 million. Given that the Grand Theft Auto franchise is one of the most successful media brands of all time, it's no surprise that other companies have tried to catch up with Rockstar by releasing fairly similar titles. In 2014, Ubisoft introduced Watch Dogs to the world, not stinging money to make the gaming Chicago as authentic as possible. It should be recalled here that building a storyline in a real-life city is something that the GTA franchise has not done since 1999, when GTA, London 1961 was released. Watch Dogs has broken many of Ubisoft's sales records, meaning the company hasn't wasted the money. Mass Effect, Andromeda, $76 million. Even though it was only five years between the release of Mass Effect 3 and the release of this title, many viewed Mass Effect, Andromeda as a serious return to the franchise after many years. EA knew this and spent a lot of money on the game to ensure its success as a starting point for a whole new series. However, when Andromeda fell short of commercial expectations, it seemed like it was just a forgettable one-off sequel rather than the start of a new chapter in the great Mass Effect franchise. 2Human, $80 million. 2Human has been in development for a very long time. So long that it was originally intended to be a PlayStation 1 game. By the time it finally came out for the Xbox 360, there was little doubt that developer Silicon Knights had put a ton of money into the title. And that figure doesn't even include the millions Silicon Knights paid Epic Games over the Unreal Engine disputes and the multi-million dollar court case that Epic won against SK for contract breach. Also SK, having lost the trial, had to destroy all unsold copies of 2Human. But today the game can be downloaded for free, however, only for consoles of the Xbox family. Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, $80 million Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain went through a lot during its creation, including a very high-profile event, the conflict between Hideo Kojima and Konami, the company in which he spent his 30-year career. The main reason for the controversy was reportedly the game's huge budget, which never stopped growing. It's hard to say who really had the last laugh in terms of the success of the blockbuster, the guy who had to constantly argue with his bosses for the release to take place, or the company that made huge profits for it. Defiance, $80 million after the success of Rift, the guys from Trime Worlds felt brave, and a few years later they released another MMO game, the shooter Defiance. The game was closely related to the sci-fi TV series of the same name. Defiance is an ambitious multimedia crossover, each brand having success at the expense of the popularity of the other. The TV series gave only a minor boost to the game, but even then, few users dared to try out the title. A year after its release, Defiance went free to play, which is usually not a good sign. And three years after the release, the Tryon World Studio closed altogether. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, $81 million. 
The Witcher, or, if you will, The Witcher, has gone from an imperfect RPG with a strange name to a legitimate contender for the title of the best representative of the genre. So while The Witcher 2 saw the light of day with moderate fan expectations, the excitement around Wild Hunt was incredible, so CD Projekt spent an incredible amount of money developing the game. Also, the third Witcher was the last major release of CD Projekt Red before Cyberpunk 2077, a game that took a long time to create. The developer had to leave one franchise and please fans by starting to prepare the next one for release. Red Dead Redemption, $90 million. There is no doubt that Red Dead Redemption 2, released in 2018, brought in a lot of money for Rockstar, but this game will not be on the list, as the company decided to keep silent about the funds invested in the development of the blockbuster. But we know that its predecessor had a rather modest budget when compared to GTA, to which we will return. While it doesn't take place in a densely populated urban metropolis or even in a world as big as GTA 5, RDR feels just as epic or epic in scale. There are no pastures or randomly placed trees copied and pasted here, every inch of the landscape has been skillfully and carefully crafted. Battlefield 4, $100 million While Halo has a loyal following, both Medal of Honor and Brothers in Arms have gained their place on the throne in the latest generation, there is currently only one FPS franchise that can really claim to come close to call. Of duty by popularity is Battlefield. Battlefield often stands out, for example, when the series reverted to the concept of World War I, but it was with Battlefield 4 that the franchise directly decided to surpass COD. At least that 2013 has succeeded. Tomb Raider, 2013, $100 million. Developing modern games based on Tomb Raider is very expensive, but ironically, the franchise was once notorious for its cost-effectiveness. The engine that was originally created for the 1996 version remained raw in 2000. Tomb Raider 2013 marks the third reboot of the series, and we guarantee it won't be the last. It seems that being completely transformed every three to five parts is Lars Krigo. APB, All Points Bulletin, $100 million David Jones, one of the creators of Grand Theft Auto, didn't like the direction the franchise was taking and decided to leave Rockstar to start his own studio. Jones had success with his first solo GTA-like game, Crackdown, and decided he could create an even bigger and more ambitious project. Unfortunately for Jones, online game APB, All Points Bulletin faced a problematic development that exceeded budget and sold so poorly that its servers were shut down less than a year after launch, and the studio itself was closed as well. However, shortly thereafter, the Reloaded Productions development team decided to buy out the rights to the title and republished it as APB Reloaded. Genshin Impact, $100 million. You may have heard about Genshin Impact by the edge of your ear, since everyone was talking about this game at the time of release, Fall 2020. This is a colorful Chinese ARPG with an open world and anime-style graphics, which attracted users for the beauty, atmosphere, original mechanics and overall high quality for this genre. The closest analog is The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, but I can't even call our guest a clone. It follows from all this that the developers have wisely allocated the budget and have responsibly approached the creation of the project. Which, by the way, helped them earn $245 million a month after the release, and by the end of 2020, the income was already $400 million. By the way, the game is shareware, and you can download it on PC, PS4 and mobile platforms Android and iOS. Deadpool, $100 million, released at a time when Deadpool was still mostly known only to comic book fans and had yet to be successful in the film industry. 2013 Deadpool did a great job on the humor and anti-hero spirit, but it wasn't anything special in terms of gameplay. If you're wondering how this game could have been worth $100 million, this is one example where the marketing budget accounts for a huge chunk of that amount, since Deadpool was heavily promoted by Activision. 
In 2015, the title was re-released for Next Generation Systems, and the release coincided with the release of the film. Disney Infinity, $100 million People often talk about the epic Disney crossover called Kingdom Hearts, but they forget that the Disney Infinity series included not only Disney and Pixar characters, but also Marvel and Star Wars characters, all of which overlapped freely in toy box game mode. There is no doubt that much of the title's huge budget has been spent on technology to bring collectible figures into the game as characters. Grand Theft Auto 4, $100 million Rockstar has made significant advances over the engine that powered Grand Theft Auto 3, improving it not only for the release of the next two games in the series, but also for two additional PSP exclusives. However, when it came time to make the move to the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, all of Rockstar's games needed to create a whole new technology. However, the $100 million was certainly worth it, 6 million copies of the game were sold in the first week, which is more than $500 million. It is worth saying that for such indicators the title was included in the Guinness Book of Records. Max Payne 3, $105 million. It seemed that the Max Payne series had already faded into oblivion when the game developer, Remedy Entertainment, decided to leave the franchise in favor of other projects, but in 2012 Rockstar decided to revive it using one of their own studios. While Max Payne 3 retained the bullet time gameplay of the first two installments, the game definitely had the much grander scale and performance of Rockstar. While the company seems to be pretty much committed to building huge open-world franchises, Max Payne 3 is sure to be the end of a great era. Final Fantasy VII, $114 million If for some reason you haven't witnessed the hype surrounding the release of Final Fantasy VII, it's impossible to explain how big the game was. By being the first title in the series to be released in CD-ROM format, Squaresoft was able to give FF7 the cinematic quality that previous installments in the series lacked. There is no doubt that most of that $100 million has been spent on huge advertising for Final Fantasy VII. It was one of the first video games to be widely advertised on primetime television. Was it worth it? A rhetorical question. Halo 2, $120 million The original Halo was warmly received and had decent sales, and was also the game that launched the series on consoles, and it took a while for it to prove itself and really gain a foothold in the market. But by the time Halo 2 came out, the Xbox was definitely a worthy console, and that changed dramatically. Halo 2 has been called one of the biggest entertainment media releases of all time, sure enough, the game immediately became the most popular and best-selling game for 6th generation consoles. Dead Space, $120 million what most of the games on this list have in common is that they are either a continuation of an already established series, or extremely ambitious online projects that require huge investments in server infrastructure. Dead Space is a bit of an anomaly among today's expensive video games in the sense that it was the first title in a completely new series, and also a game that didn't have any online multiplayer modes. EA made huge bets on Dead Space, and, at least at first, it paid off, but then the series began to bring the company less and less creative and commercial benefits. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, $125 million Since the first part of the reboot of the universe was developed without considering the latest generation console port, it was probably a foregone conclusion that Shadow of the Tomb Raider would be the most expensive game in the franchise. Nevertheless, the trend is that every third part of the relaunch of the series starts to slow down, and Shadow was no exception, as evidenced by the many reviews from critics and fans who said something like the game is good, but not great. Only about 5 million copies were sold, which is not good for a title worth over $100 million.
Destiny, $140 million. Before Halo, the Bungie developers worked on other projects, including the iconic Marathon, but for more than 10 years the developer lived and breathed at the expense of the Master Chief. And like most creative teams, they ended up wanting to do something different, eventually leaving Halo behind and putting the universe in the hands of 343 industries. After years underground, Bungie has finally unveiled their big project, the online shooter Destiny. After a somewhat tough start, Destiny has become a favorite of millions of fans around the world, and has many expansion packs. Marvel's Avengers, $190 million The story with Marvel's Avengers is more sad than joy. Yes, this is a large-scale action game based on what is probably the most popular media universe, and it can be quite entertaining for a couple of nights. Especially if you have a faithful partner who also wants to try on a superhero costume in co-op mode. But in sales, it unfortunately failed, the publisher Square Enix officially reported a colossal loss of $67 million. What happened to Marvel's Avengers? After all, her budget is much higher than that of the previous creations of the developers, namely the adventures of Lara Croft. The reasons are different, the developers previously worked only on single games, the raw technical side was revealed at the start, and the gameplay as a whole turned out to be not so diverse. Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, $200 million In the early 2000s, the Star Wars brand was in a rather strange position, as the universe once again reminded people of itself thanks to the release of the prequels, but at the same time deteriorated because of them. People were eager to fall in love with Star Wars again, and Bioware tried to do everything for that. Then known only for its RPG games based on Dungeons & Dragons, the company surprised everyone with the release of the ambitious Knights of the Old Republic, which instantly became a favorite for most Star Wars fans and remains so for many to this day. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, $250 million Call of Duty took off to the top in 2003, and COD 2 was an outstanding title to launch on the Xbox 360, but it wasn't until the first Modern Warfare was released that the series achieved massive success. Modern Warfare was so huge that it essentially kicked off a separate franchise. This only happened with another part of COD, Black Ops. For a direct sequel, MW Activision and Infinity Ward have gone to great lengths to create one of the best first-person shooters out there. Grand Theft Auto V, $265 million Oh, have a few films made over $1 billion at the box office? It's amazing, but Grand Theft Auto V has grossed over $6 billion, with many calling the game the most profitable entertainment product of all time. Rockstar probably felt confident enough, spending over $250 million to create and promote GTA V, but we doubt they expected to make such a profit. Copies of the game are sold to this day, and each new re-release becomes the best-selling for the respective platform. Star Citizen more than $300 million the most expensive crowdfunding game that hasn't been cancelled or cancelled, yet, Star Citizen has raised hundreds of millions of dollars in crowdfunding alone. Star Citizen is led by Chris Roberts, the industry veteran who created Wing Commander, and the video game promises to be one of the most popular in history. Most sources, as of early 2021, report that $300 million has already been spent on Star Citizen, and there is no doubt that this figure will rise. However, unofficially, the game can already be called the most expensive in history, given the fact that soon it will probably catch up with our leader. Cyberpunk 2077, $315 million Star Citizen breathes in the back, but so far Cyberpunk 2077 remains the most expensive video game ever. The polls from CDPR spent a much more impressive amount than on the same The Witcher, and even despite the fact that in their homeland development costs are much lower than in other countries. Unfortunately, the game did not start as confidently as the developers expected, but we believe that in the long term, this futuristic adventure RPG action will be put in order. 
Moreover, Cyberpunk 2077 set a record for simultaneous online on Steam for a novelty and a story game, just over 1 million users, and the number of pre-orders exceeded 8 million copies, which may indicate the financial success of the project even before the release. If your favorite game is not included in this list write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel, like, turn on notifications and you will always be aware of what to play today.